Welcome back to MKE Gadgets. Today I got a side job doing a repair job for a friend. Two items. The first item is this yard. I'm not sure if it's a chicken or what it is. I guess it's a chicken. And the leg broke off. You can kind of see there. And this is really thin sheet metal. And the hardest part of repairing it is making it stick again. And, and for that, I'm going to take a washer. And I put it underneath here. That way I don't blow through. Well, at least that's the idea. As uh, any job, it's always trying to hold it so it doesn't uh, roll on you. And uh, let me find something here to block this up. And we'll weld it. I'm thinking the best way to hold the washer in there is with a paper clip. Worst case scenario is I weld the paper clip on. Position that leg how it was. Now ever so gently, put a little weld on there. Well, I welded the wing back on. That was kind of flapping like a hinge there. That was about to break off. So looking at a hood here, $49.99. If you take this to a welding shop, you're gonna pay more than that to get this thing fixed. I think that should last a couple more summers. So the second item my friend Steve brought over is this lawn edger. And right here, the well broke right near and this is the gas tank well you can't be welding that that close to the gas tank so this has to come off let's zoom in and take a look at the broken weld so you can see where that weld failed it's just welded a couple areas and i'm going to try to re-weld that i don't know if there's a bearing or a bushing or what's in here but maybe i could weld on some quarter 20 nuts you know, weld it on like that, and then act as a as a gusset. I don't know until I get this all apart. So first thing we gotta take off. Looks like the scarred and the blade, and I don't know how far I gotta go. Well, first thing, let's take off this plastic guard here. That might tell us more. Let's see if I can up oh, get the pulley up. See if I can get this belt off. Ha! Belt came off. Now hopefully, hopefully this pulls out. Just took it back outside, drained all the gas. This is the oil fill. So when you turn this, you want to have that facing up. That way no oil leaks out of there. Looks like a little oil has leaked. And let's take a look underneath. Okay. Looks like a uh, some kind of roll pin in there. I'm gonna have to knock that out, but putting this together, I'm gonna have to compress this spring over here. That's gonna be fun. When this thing gets pushed all the way out, this thing could come flying out, if I'm lucky. So I had to bring a pipe clamp in here to release the pressure on that pin. Hopefully I can drive it out now. Let's zoom in and take a look. I don't know if you can see a little, little gap in there from the pipe clamp. I don't think this thing was made to come apart. Easy. Now I'm changing this punch. It's about the same diameter as that pin.
So this, so this was a split roll pin that was in there. And when it's compressed into the hole, it expands. And that way those two parts don't come apart very easily. If I release this clamp, this whole assembly should come out. And it is. Hey, look at that. And that's the hole where the pin was in. So with this thing still smelling like gas, and you know there's a little gas in the tank and oil, this is gonna go outside. I'm gonna clean up the whole area. I'm gonna make sure I ain't spilling gas on myself before I start welding. So with everything I move, here's a close up on the weld. You can see where it cracked, and this plate is not at a 90 degree angle there. So what I'm gonna use is a clamp here. Put this clamp on there. With that clamp on there, you can see it closed up, weld up. But I'm going to go in there and grind all that paint off, reclamp it, and weld it. With this abrasive wheel on an angle grinder, I'm going to go in there and try to remove that paint. So with that paint removed, you can really kind of see that crack opened up. With a clamp real nice, you can't even see that crack. Make sure I got a good ground here. And this should be really easy. Now I want to make sure I didn't put too much heat in there and bind this up. That doesn't look too bad. I think I'm gonna add a couple more. Probably took a minute to weld all of that and an hour to take it apart. Let that cool down and we'll put it all back together. Well, here it is all put together. Almost better than brand new. I said earlier I might weld some nuts in there for gussets. I didn't end up doing that. Just a bunch of tacks all the way around. Everything rotates as it should. So quite often I get asked, what do I do in my shop all day long? Why do I have a welder and other tools? Well, this is why. I helped out a friend. I have known Steve for probably over 50 years. So this is MKE Gadgets. Please support my channel by subscribing. And thanks, we'll see you tomorrow.